Good morning, Calvary. I've got a question for you. When you ask the question, who am I encouraging to follow Jesus? Probably the most natural answer is your family. I became a Christian when I was seven. Of course, the first people I talked to about my faith were my parents. The family is a natural spot for discussion about Jesus. And in John chapter 1, you can read the account of Andrew telling his brother about Jesus. Basically, what happens is this. Andrew heard from John the Baptist that Jesus was the Savior. Andrew followed Jesus and verified this. Then Andrew went and told his brother, Peter. He said, we found the Messiah. Then he brought his brother to Jesus. And you know the rest of the story. Peter ended up being the leader of the disciples and instrumental in sharing Jesus with thousands of others. You see, there is probably nobody that you care more about than your family. If you have children, they have more of your heart than anyone else. You love your brother, your sister, your parents, your aunts and uncles. Your concern is almost always for your family. So it's natural for us to want to help them to follow Jesus. The Bible also assumes that the family is a natural place to pass along your faith. Um, listen to what it says in Deuteronomy 6. Uh, this is verses 6 through 9. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise. And verse 9 says, you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. God's word is something that we first internalize, then we take it to those around us. We should pass it along to our children and to others in our household. This, this passage paints a picture that scripture is something we talk about throughout our daily life. Our faith is a constant companion in our family life. If we were to modernize verse 7 for our 21st century life, it would say something like this. You should explain your faith to your kids and your grandkids. Turn off those screens for a little while and talk about God. When you're driving in the car, turn on some worship music, sing along, and then talk about what the song means. Go for a walk and talk about God's creation. While you're shopping in the grocery store, talk about God's provision. When you lie down at night, pray and talk about all that God has done throughout your day. And first thing when you get up, ask God to help you with the day ahead. The home is the perfect place to do these things. If you've got a house full, let me encourage you to start some of these habits today. Now, if your house is empty, maybe your family isn't so close, let me encourage you to broaden that circle to your neighbors. Reach out to them, adopt them as your family. If your family lives a great distance from you, use that amazing technology in the palm of your hand, again, the phone, and FaceTime your family. Uh, get one of the many great books that talks about Jesus and record it for your grandkids. Uh, do whatever you can to encourage them to follow Jesus. I pray that you will see fruit from sharing Jesus with your family. Have a great day.